Hello friends and welcome back to our channel. It is time for a story. Today's story is called Itsy the Clever Spider and this story is retold by Susie Lynn and illustrated by Barbara Cantini. We hope you enjoyed today's story. As usual, please like and share this video and hit that bell button so you're notified whenever we post more stories. Let's get started. Itsy the spider looked at the world around him and sighed a big sigh. He was a very clever, very wise spider and he knew a lot about things, but he wanted to be cleverer and wiser still. It'll be easy, Itsy said to nobody in particular. I'll simply gather up all the wonderful knowledge in the world, all the amazing cleverness and all the super skills to do everything. First, Itsy had a big problem to solve. Where am I going to keep all the wisdom and cleverness when I find it? He thought to himself. I'll need something very big and very safe to put it in. So Itsy set to work and made a big pot especially for the task. In fact, it was so big that Itsy had trouble lifting it. Ruff, ruff, run, he muttered until under his breath. The next day, Itsy set out with his pot in search of every bit of wisdom that he could find. He traveled far and wide and saw lots of wonderful new things, but most importantly, he learned lots of things too. Every day, Itsy added new things to his big pot of wisdom, and every day his pot became heavier. Finally, there was no space in the pot for anything else, which was just as well because Itsy could hardly lift it. Then Itsy started to worry. Where can I keep, can I hide my pot of wisdom to keep it safe? He thought, looking around and scratching his head with one of his eight legs. Will it be safe in a hole in the ground? He wondered. No, the rabbits live there. Maybe I'll be safe in a cave, he pondered. No, the bats live there. Or in the forest, he considered. No, all kinds of chattering creatures live there. Just as is it. Itsy was running out of ideas. He spotted a torn tree standing on its own. Its trunk was covered in huge spikes and even its leaves were spiky. Perfect, shouted Itsy in delight. Using vines to, the, to tie his big spot to his tummy, Itsy started to climb the tree very slowly. Itsy was so busy struggling with his heavy pot that he didn't notice his son Bitsy watching his every move. What a meal he's making out of it laughed Bitsy to himself, and he was right. Every time Itsy tried to climb the spiky tree, the pot of wisdom slipped and slid, making climbing very difficult indeed. At last, Bitsy could keep quiet no longer. Hey, Dad, he shouted, tie the pot to your back, not your front. It'll make climbing much easier. Itsy almost fell out of the tree in surprise. Ouch, he yelled as he caught hold of a particularly big spike. How annoying that it, that Bitsy had spotted him and how annoying that his idea was such a good idea. After all, it was he, Itsy, who had the pot of wisdom. Itsy threw the pot of wisdom down in a rage. As the pot crashed to the ground, it shattered and tiny bits flew everywhere and so did all the wisdom with, that was inside. All the knowledge, all the skills, and all the cleverness flew free and up, 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 up into the air, floating away on the breeze. As Itsy and Bitsy watched storm clouds gathered above them, suddenly there was a deafening clap of thunder and it started to rain. It rained and rained and rained. It rained so hard that the water washed the wisdom out of the air onto the land and into the streams and rivers. The rivers of wisdom flowed into the sea and the tides went in and out around every bit of land and wisdom began to spread around the whole wide world. Wow! was all that Itsy and Bitsy could say as they watched the amazing sight from the very highest, very driest place they could find. So. Thanks to Itsy and his clever son, there is now a little bit of wisdom for everyone in the world. And that includes you. The end. We hope you enjoyed today's story. As usual, like and subscribe to our channel so that you're notified whenever we post more stories. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Bye.